Hello and welcome to another edition of our toy review. This time we are featuring um, the 2007 Optimus Prime Night Watch. Well, <clears throat> just don't get rumor wrong. I just had this little guy here join us for comparison purposes only. So, yeah, there we go. Well, let's start with um some details of course this is just a repaint of the actual 2007 release of optimus prime leader class series and it has been colored dark no blue green and some shadow parts here so generally this is just a uh, collector's edition and it's my brother's so actually i just don't have the gun or the weapon right now but it's attached here somewhere and it has rubber tires as you can see and it runs so smooth oops yeah compared to here you can hear the, the screaming of the wheels because wheels is plastic all right and when it comes to the lights and sound gimmick you can see here there's this little button here and we'll just have to press well for this guy here the button's located here at the back the battery compartment is located here well for this one batteries are located here in these gas tanks so this was released back in 2007 so it's a little class it's also complicated more than you can think of and let me just demonstrate to you how to convert this guy in no particular order and while i'm doing so i just want to share as well if you may recall some years ago i made a i made a video or a review under the account sci472 of the knockoff leader class Optimus Prime, which is enormously big, and actually this is the, well that was the replica, but this is the one that it has been copied from, and yeah, so you can actually witness how I'm going to transform this, this is way similar as well on how to convert the, um, the knock off that I featured some years ago. Well, I just got my nail, so I'm having some challenges how to open this, but let me just grab something. Okay, it's complicated than I thought. All right, let me just grab something here. There we go, it's opened. Oh, I just did some magic. Oops. I think the magic just faded. And there. Now I'll just have to remove all this on. And just want to share some story to you guys about uh, this toy. As I've mentioned, this was released back on 2007. And it was... Price was 3,000 pesos. But, of course, not much. I, I mean... Not all of the items were sold in the malls during that time because it was way too expensive. So what SM did was that they discounted the price on the following year, 2008, and that was December. So from 3,000, it was trimmed down to two, no, 1,000 pesos. Yes, that's a very good offer. That's a very good deal that collectors could not really resist knowing that this is a huge toy and it has been trimmed down to only 3,000 bucks. No one would resist the offer. And there it was, my brother bought my brother bought this and for some strange reason he would prefer to have a night ops optimus prime rather than the normal 
Optimus Prime. Well, we cannot blame the guy. He, he said that he would prefer a ra rare item rather than the you know the usual stuff that you see. So okay. <laughs> In the first place, it's his. So let's just respect the guy for his interest. So what we're doing right now is that we're almost done converting this into robot mode. Well, technically it's not really that super complicated, but this is my favorite part, the feet. We're in when you do the mechanism on that. See? It's quite interesting enough, right? There. See that? That's very cute, I must admit. And let's move on to the more complicated. This is more the complicated part. There. There. And there we go. Oops. Accidentally, I have released the head. That's supposed to be within the latter part. Oh. Well, it's already there, so let him enjoy the party. And I think I need to make some adjustments on the camera for it to see. Alright, there we go. Well, I think you can see him now. Well, well generally, the hands are... We can say that somehow it's articulated. It has a an inspiration from the Masterpiece 1, Optimus Prime. Just look at the hands. And there we go. Guy is also handsome. Articulated, but... Yeah, for me it's kind of a, this is just my opinion, but he seems to look so bulky at some point. Well, I think we just have some different perspectives though. But right now I just want to turn over your attention here. Let's just, you know, do some comparison on the, on this guy over here. This is by the way the Hunt for the Decepticons Optimus Prime. And yeah, let's do some conversions. Alright, so just to give you some history about here, I bought this through a website, solid.com. And sorry. Okay, just stay here. Just stand up. There. There, let him, let him stand over here for a while, okay? You can see some improvements right now, we're in. I have just made some conversions on this, um, this release. By the way, it was released back on 2010, but during that time, I cannot afford to purchase so it's a long hell of a story but right now as you can see i have here in front of you oops sorry once again my friend stay here well the tricky part in this is that you have to convert first the first half of the toy which is the upper no the upper extremities of uh this Optimus Prime and it's very this is the very best time-consuming toy ever as far as I know as far as I own and yeah because I'm not really a big collector and this is the part that I really hate and you have to insert I hate noisy stuff you know I mean Kind of a disturbing. I know that this is almost a fast conversion for this guy here, and don't worry, I will be doing 
a separate video on how you can convert this guy here because actually my feature is not this guy I'm just showing this for comparative purposes and as you can understand he's quite noisy he's quite scandalous and there we go now let's do some comparisons on uh, these two guys here that you're seeing well first of all one thing that you can notice is that this guy over here you can see him in the camera if you can place it here because he's shorter than this guy this is by the way battle damage optimus prime as you can see he has some scars over here and he's more noisy of course in terms of um you know the built-in i mean the there let's have a better view of this now in terms of built or the body built um this guy over here is bulky i mean you can notice the um the body itself is kind of a bulky built-in compared to this guy which is more of a mat macho or macho image yeah it's kind of cool and of course there's no gimmick on a on once on a robot mode there's not much of a gimmick here for this guy except if we're going to hide his head and pull it off again through this little peg here I guess you heard the noise already let me just fix this for you guys for you to better understand or see part in the background okay now in terms of articulation yes this guy is very articulated this guy is very articulated of course and you can hear the ratchets all over it and you can appreciate how intricate and how you know the efforts that have been done by Hasbro in designing this stuff over here I really do appreciate this guy you know, okay you can you can tell that uh, this is a prototype version of leader class leader class Optimus but then and again if you can think about it I mean this is also cool this is also cool it's just that um, this is more of a prototype uh, more of a prototype series or a prototype version of the earlier Optimus Prime's leader class compared to this guy over here which is already um, we can say almost movie accurate physically movie accurate okay well consider yourself lucky if you will be able to purchase a cheap 2007 liter class Optimus Prime nowadays well that's it for our toy review for today and I hope you enjoyed this episode don't forget to leave your comments and subscribe to my channel have a nice day ahead have a nice